Hi and welcome to my back porch. I'm very excited about today's pour because I think I have come up with a new technique and I'll talk about that later. Um, I kind of want to explain what I'm doing here. I've got black up on the top, white on the bottom, and I'm going to pour some leftover paints in and see what kind of reaction I get. So it was an explosion of cells. I was really happy with that. And I play around here with how far up I pour the paint from to see if it makes a difference. I also am, the black and white don't have any additives in it. So I think there's a lot of play against the um, things with additives versus things that are without. So that was a little bit of gold. Uh, there's a mixture that made a light greenish I think that's the robin's egg blue and the red is most likely a crimson and the paint was old so there were quite a few little blotchy things in there that had to be played with and picked out um, so I didn't have quite enough paint so I just poured some from the cup on to give enough to you know finish it off and, and get everything covered and I was real happy with it, so I decided right away that I had to try it again. So basically, I haven't seen anybody do this. I was thinking about it before I fell asleep the night before I did this. And this is one of those videos I just found. You can see it's not in my new paint box. It's in the old, uh, on top of the desk with the plastic on top. And uh, I just came across some videos that I never got to the point where I um, made the video to publish them. So... I'm real happy that I found this one and someone will have to let me know if anybody else has done this technique. I don't want to claim it to be my original thought if someone else has already done it. And somebody also has to come up with some kind of name like flow over might work. Um, so anyway, uh, like I said, I decided I had to do it again. and. I think I was basically out of the red so here I go with a I left the original in the in the cup or the leftovers in the cup from the last one and I added tan and black and that black probably has some dimethicone or silicone in it and then when I put that white in it just forced everything up and wow because the white you know the white tends to sink so I think that that might help. Plus, if you, I'm pouring it from way up high, um, I think that also helps to get um, the paint to go down and, and force the other colors up. So um, on this one, I'm going to pull this cup up any minute now, but I did want to make sure I had enough paint. And I did, I had plenty. Um, and then I really liked the edge that's closest to the bottom in this picture. And so I added some white along, well I was gonna use white, but I was out of it. So I added some black along the edge to try and uh, keep from losing that really pretty um, ribbonish shape of that edge right there and then as I continued to pour parts off that I didn't care for and keep the ones that I did I ended up with um, an expansive amount of blue going through the middle of it so after getting the paint you know relatively thin because I'm going to add more paint to it I am going to just pour a ribbon from that leftover cup so I think that this technique is kind of cool in that it gives you um, a lot of cells and then you let you have some leftovers every time um, to use in fact I think I dumped off some of the leftovers and added a few more of the colors I gave it a swirl with the popsicle stick and then I poured it on so a little tipping back and forth to open up that ribbon and got some pretty cool cells in there. I think I finally thought about the, uh, yeah, there it is. I finally thought about the torch. 
Um, I wish I would have thought about it right after it started flowing out of the cup because I think the cells would have been uh, bigger and uh, the paint would have been a little thinner and maybe spread itself out a little bit more. But yeah, very happy with this. I can't wait to try it on a larger canvas. These both are just little 8 by 8s and I think on um, you know a 12 by 12 or even a 24 by 24 could be really interesting the effect that you could get. Yeah, so I'm busy editing and trying to get as many of these older um, clips out there so that I can move on to my newer ones because I'm very excited about the project I'm doing for my sister. Um, so my, my goal is to put a video a day out for a while. Here are the close-ups. You can the this is the close-up of it still wet. And I was pleasantly surprised at how much of the gold stayed on top of that first piece because I had not had great luck with the Reeves brand gold. I in fact I've changed to the Chroma A2 because it seemed to me a lot of times the uh, the reeves would sink um, so here they are wet again and then it's going to jump right into the still shots here showing it all dry and I think the colors really retained their um, their brightness so if you like the video hit the like if you want to share it with somebody please do also um, subscribe if you haven't and you know, the pictures aren't doing it any justice. It really is brighter than that. Yeah, that's more like it. That shows it off a little bit better. So, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.